everyone, today I just wanted to show you a simple way you can colour grade your final retouches. Um, this is quite a difficult subject and I know a lot of people really do struggle with colour grading their final retouches. Um, it can be quite difficult to know what sort of colours are going to suit your images and this simple technique is a really handy way to kind of get a feel for what's going to work. So I have this image here by Daria Romanova and I've done all the retouching on it, I've done the skin work, um, dodge and burn, I have also sharpened it and I have done some simple colour grading but I'm just going to use this just to demonstrate how you can use this technique yourself. So basically um, I have a flattened image here, um, you can work off of a PSD file with all your layers intact um, and in that case you would probably just start and you know create a new layer and then just go shift control alt and e to create a stamped layer of all the layers that are below it but because um, I flattened this one I'm just going to work off this background one and I'm going to be using all the menu keys up here rather than my actual keyboard shortcuts just so you know what I'm doing um, okay so let's start <laughs> we have our image here um, I'm just going to go to select all and then I'm going to copy that. Okay, so that's on your clipboard now, ready to do the work. So I'm just gonna create a new group and I'm gonna call this color grading. Okay, and then I'm going to create two solid color layers. Um, and you can kind of put them to anything really because we are gonna change these, but it's just for the sake of, you know, creating the layers. Um, there we go, so that'll do for now. <laughs> And then we're going to set this bottom one to multiply. And this top one is going to be soft light. Okay. And then this is the kind of awesome little trick that's going to really help is by pressing alt and clicking on these channel masks here. We'll start with the lower one. You just go to edit and then you can paste your image and it's going to be black and white in the channel mask there. And do the same. You have to make sure you press Alt and this will go white just to make sure that you do actually have the um, layer mask selected. And then you just paste it into place again on that one there. And then on the lower one, make sure you select that and then just press Control and I to invert it. And then as you can see, it's um, kind of changed the colors there. So what I'm going to do is just open up these layers here and it goes into the color picker and you can just kind of, you know, scroll through um, and change these colors and get a feel for what's really going to work with your image. So for this, I think maybe I'm going to go down here. Um, I think that's probably slightly too warm for that image. I'm not sure maybe try a kind of pinky tone, but more on the kind of cooler side up here. So that's kind of toned all the um, shadows into a kind of like pinky tone, which is quite nice. And then I'm gonna to go to the highlights, which would be the top layer, soft light, and maybe go for quite a nice kind of warm tone. And you can see it's just quite a nice subtle effect there. Um, but you can obviously go with any colours that you want. Um, although if you want to kind of keep it natural, I would advise staying with the kind of neutral tones. Um, nothing too crazy like putting green highlights because, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure anyone really has natural green highlights in their skin tones. Um, although, you know, you never know, I suppose. Um, same with kind of, you know, reds. Um, I wouldn't kind of tone those highlights in a ready pinky color either. But, um, you know, it can be quite nice just to scroll through and see what's gonna suit your image. And that's just a nice simple way to kind of, you know, have a base for color grading and you can always um, start doing some work on top of that, doing the color balance. And I'll just pop that in there. And there we go. Simple, quick color grading tips. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, please subscribe and 
press like down below. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.